Hi everyone, China's effective monopoly on high strength magnets is about to cause havoc in the European auto sector. Before I go on, if you don't know me, my name is Robert Bryce, I'm a reporter. I give you the numbers and the facts, not the spin about energy and power. Okay, so what's happening in the European auto sector? Uh, I wrote about, uh, over the weekend on Substack, I wrote a piece about China's near total dominance, near monopoly on strategic metals, and in particular, rare earth elements. Uh, those are called the lanthanides, neodymium, praseodymium, terbium, dysprosium, etc. Those rare earth elements are critical in high strength magnets, neodymium, iron, boron magnets, and those magnets are critical to the production of electric vehicles. Well, since I wrote about uh, this on the weekend on Substack, an article came out saying that, in fact, European automakers could run out of these rare earth magnets by as soon as the middle of June. And that means that the European auto sector will have to quit making electric vehicles until the normal flow of, uh, of these magnets and rare earth elements continues uh, or ramps up out of China. This is, of course, a result, one of the results one of the knock-on effects of the trade war that President Trump started with China. China, in early April, began restricting the export of these magnets. Uh, a few years ago, they restricted the export of the technology to make the magnets, as well as the refining technologies. So the reality is that China now has, and has had for years, the rest of the world over a barrel when it comes to the supply of these strategic elements. And there is no quick fix. This has been a strategy that China has been working on now for decades. Uh, the IEA report that came out earlier this month that I wrote about on Substack said that in fact, China's control of rare earth elements is increasing, not decreasing. So the West, and by this, I mean the US and, and, and Europe and Japan, South Korea, have effectively sleepwalked into a supply chain calamity. And we're starting to see the first signs of this. Uh, the reality is that like it or not, the US and the West, we depend on China for a lot of critical uh, commodities, including these high strength magnets. And there is no quick fix. I, I hope that this can re be resolved soon, but um, the, the situation looks really bad right now for the European automakers. Um, and uh, it's gonna get worse, I think, before it gets better. I'll stop there. You know where to find me. I'm on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.